The Hubble Space Telescope has had five servicing missions since its launch in 1990. From servicing mission one in 1993 to servicing mission four in 2009. Wait, what? Five servicing missions, but the last one is called servicing mission four? While it might seem strange at first, there's a reason for that. And that's because servicing mission three has a very interesting history. Originally scheduled for launch in mid-2000, Hubble's third servicing mission was going to upgrade and refurbish the telescope just as the first two servicing missions had done before. But in quick succession, Hubble's all-important gyroscopes began to fail. So, why are Hubble's gyroscopes so important? Hubble Deputy Project Manager Jim Gilletic can explain. So while we're turning Hubble, we need to know exactly which direction we're turning it. So we use a sensor known as a gyroscope, or a gyro. They use the conservation of angular momentum to tell us if Hubble is turning in which specific direction and how fast it's turning in that direction. So essentially, without the gyroscopes, we have no way to know where Hubble is pointing, which, for a telescope, is kind of important. In 1999, Hubble needed at least three of its six gyroscopes to be running in order to do science. And with only three gyros still functioning, a Hubble emergency was declared and servicing mission three was quickly split into two separate launches. SM3A's main priority would be switching out all the gyroscopes with new and improved versions, while SM3B was scheduled for a few years later and would work on the updates that Hubble still needed but weren't as urgent. Due to this timing change, the astronauts for SM3A had less time to train for their important mission, but they went into overdrive and were ready in time for their launch date of October 14th, 1999. However, delays caused by final inspections and wiring repairs on the shuttle continued to push the launch date deeper and deeper into the end of the year. And then, as if things couldn't get any worse, in mid-November, a fourth gyroscope on Hubble failed. Hubble was put into safe mode and all science came to a screeching halt. Thankfully, the Hubble team had already decided to split SM3 into two missions months earlier. Otherwise, Hubble would have been totally silent until the originally planned mid-2000 mission. So, after a few more delays due to more inspections, rewiring, engine replacements, and bad weather, the crew of SM3A sitting in the cockpit of the Space Shuttle Discovery was ready to launch. The eight-day mission had three spacewalks planned. The first was the all-important gyro switch-out. There were a few minor problems that came up during the 8-hour, 15-minute long spacewalk, but by the end of the day, Hubble's gyro troubles were over. The next two days had their own spacewalks, updating Hubble with a more advanced computer, adding a new fine guidance sensor, installing a new solid-state digital recorder, and replacing Hubble's old outer insulation with new panels in order to protect Hubble's scientific equipment from getting too hot or too cold. When all the work was finished, Hubble was released back into orbit on Christmas Day, and as the crew of Discovery landed at Kennedy Space Center, it became clear that this mission was a resounding success. Servicing Mission 3B would also be a success later in March of 2002, followed by the fifth and final flight, Servicing Mission 4, in May of 2009. Thanks to everyone involved with servicing mission 3A, Hubble was able to quickly get back on schedule with its groundbreaking science and continue forward with its mission of uncovering the mysteries of the universe.